first off, you'll need your artwork. And the first thing to do is to measure the paper on which your artwork is on. Right? First the length and then the breadth. Then you're going to take the outside dimensions of the paper um, and to get the, fra the outside dimensions of the frame in terms of the length of it, um, you're going to take the paper dimensions, add two times the predetermined main frame width and subtract two times the border inset. Now while the video goes on to show you a visual rep representation, I'll explain a few things. The predetermined main frame width. So the main frame width is the top and side widths of the frame um, and the, it being predetermined. So we tend to first decide before making the artwork or the frame um, whether the border is going to be two and then four at the bottom like I do in this example if because it's a small artwork but if it's a bigger artwork we tend to I think it's standardized one is six and ten although it can be seven and ten it can be a whole bunch of other things um, but technically frames tend to be in a ratio of one to two or one to three in terms of this the main frame width and then the thick frame width which is the bottom and um, which is always thicker in a frame in artwork um, yeah for the width the formula is similar however instead of adding two times the main frame width add one times the main frame width and one times the thick frame width um, like i explained earlier which is the bottom um, yeah then draw up the outside dimensions and then draw up the inside dimensions using the predetermined widths so um, you saw me earlier doing this um, i would have oh, i measured in two and then four for the bottom and I ruled the lines. As I'm doing now, I cut out the outside first just to make life a little easier and then I cut out the inside. When we're cutting, um, we tend to try and put the ruler on the frame side of the line. So not how I'm doing it now. How I'm doing it now is incorrect because if you make a mistake like I just did, and it nicks something, it'll show on the frame. So always put it like I'm doing it now on the frame side and cut on the inside. Um, so that if you accidentally make a mistake or go over or something happens um, and it looks a little wonky, it's fine because it's on a piece that is not going to be used. As I'm freehanding here, it's because it didn't cut properly. Um, or don't force it and don't tear it, always make sure to cut it. And if you're not sure if you're pressing hard enough, because that's something you've got to do, always go over it a second time, just to be 100% sure. And make sure you're going over the exact same line. Once you have your frame, position it over your artwork so that it is even. Now, something that I realized later on after making these videos is that I hadn't actually aligned my frames quite properly. Um, and this is a bit of a problem, so always make sure to double check on the back and the front. Here it looks absolutely fine, and technically that works because most of the time the borders put on the artworks aren't absolutely perfect. Um, so as long as it looks good with the frame on it, tack it tape tack it down, and then tape it down on the other side. Uh, now something to mention that I forgot to mention earlier, tape tacking. It's basically where you take tape masking tape and put, apply it to your clothing a few times taking it off each time so that it becomes less sticky and doesn't pull off the card or the artwork itself um, and make a, a a tear in the paper you always want the card to be as neat as possible and to be as clean clear and clean as possible so as to make it look nice and complete and finished now that was one example where the artwork had an actual border the second example that I'm going to do now is where it doesn't have a border. So do the exact same things, measure the length and the breadth of the artwork um, as it's the same length and the breadth as the paper. Do the same measurements, however, be very, very careful. With this, the overlap that you want of the border, oh, sorry, of the frame onto the artwork is different. You want it to be slightly smaller so that you get as much of the artwork as possible. So in this example, I did 0.5 centimeters instead of one, which is the typical um, overlap that we tend to do. Um, so you've got to incorporate that in 
your measurements and that'll come in with the border inset. So when you take two times the border inset, it's either going to be one or it's going to be whatever measurement it is. So me showing you the thumbs up after putting the artwork piece over it, that is me just double checking that everything fits and that it's the right. You've always got to do that if you can. Um, and the little mistake I had and just did, that would happen on card. In this example, I'm using paper, whatever I could find in my house, so it was very flexible and flimsy. But you want to, this, it proves that you've got to be extremely careful and extremely slow so that you don't do something like that on the actual card itself. Again, I'm not cutting it completely right um, as I am cutting it on the wrong side, but for this purpose, as it was so small, it worked okay. Once you've cut out the frame, it's exactly the same thing again. Put it over your artwork, tape tack it down, and finish it off. I hope that helped. Good luck and enjoy your framing process.